Happy Easter all, happy Easter. I smile because it is a special time of the year where sacrifices are being made. It's a time of sacrifice. Our Lord Jesus Christ made the ultimate sacrifice for us um, to give us all another chance. And the significance of that is massive. You know, it's a time where if you think about it, we go through Lent, which is a point of fasting and sacrifice. And after that, our brothers and sisters from the Muslim faith also then go through Ramadan. It's a unique period, unique in so many ways that I take, I take strength from. Even though this year we're going through this wretched coronavirus where we don't know who's going to live, who's going to die, there are certain things that are very clear. The world will never be the same again. The suffering hasn't ended. We're still in the middle of it. But what I do know is that when it ends, there'll be so many people who will be struggling even more out of work, businesses closed down, uh, sporting institutions without money to be able to fund their programs. But what is most important is life. And we have to pray for life. Even though we're not going to churches, let's all say a little prayer. And what I would ask is that everybody have a little bit of patience. Patience. Because if there ever was a time, this is a time that we do not know what is going to happen next. We don't know when we'll resume training as sportsmen. We don't know when we'll be able to open businesses as businessmen. When the cash flow will come in and we're able to manage things and pay salaries and invest in our dreams for the future. We all need patience. But we also need patience for those who are less well off than ourselves. We've got to reach out. In this period of massive lockdowns, I'm sure like many, we've all had to help many, many, many people. People who are struggling on the, on the edge, not being able to feed themselves, not being able to get out of their homes, of which we've had to send little bits of gifts and money and assistance to. I'm sure you're all doing that. Try and do it. That little bit of patience as we come through Corona and we hope that we've managed it well, that means that we'll start again. But well, what is going to start again? Ghana has been at the forefront in many ways of managing this situation early out of the blocks, early with dictates, early with quarantining, stopping flights, closing borders. And it seems as though following the Chinese example, we might, we might, with fingers crossed, plateau and get out of this in good time. But we're surrounded by many countries and throughout Africa, there are many countries. So we have to have patience. Not all will be at the same rate. Some will be ahead, many will be behind. So this is a time where we're going to have to come through this together, work with it together, start from a different benchmark, understand that our strength may be what will carry others who are not as strong through in different ways. Let's reflect this Easter. Reflect individually where we've gone wrong. Reflect where we could get better. Because the ultimate sacrifice was paid for us, after all, wasn't it? Let's take that strength and let's move forward. I have hope that things will get better. But we can only succeed if we succeed together, working together with patience. Happy Easter. Say a prayer. Stay at home. It's only for a little bit longer.